the next step, once you create a list or multiple lists, is then going to the lanes functionality. And that's where we start to customize the Simply E uh, mobile app interface um, and provide access to these lists uh, to your patrons. So clicking on uh, lanes here, um, you'll be presented again with uh, an interface that has columns that move left to right. Um, the first thing I'll note is that you are presented with, right off the bat, let me um, collapse these, um, <coughs> see this here, the default categories that you see, uh, that we saw on the catalog screen here in the circulation manager, as well as what you would see um, in Simply E, fiction, nonfiction, YA, YA, and children in middle grade. Um, and then I just clicked down the little equal sign here, um, as well as the triangle to expand and collapse uh, these um, categories. So clicking on the triangle for fiction, you can see again all of the subcategories within, uh, within fiction that are generated by default. Um, a couple things to note uh, here in just this uh, leftmost column, you can um, make any of these lanes visible or invisible. So if you want to turn off the adventure uh, category, um, or subgenre in fiction, you can do that quite easily by literally just toggling visible or invisible. Um, and again, that change propagates to simply E quite quickly, um, which is wonderful. Um, but also all of these uh, items here are quite easy to click. So just uh, a word of caution, just be careful. Don't, don't get too, too clicker happy or too, too mouse, mouse clicking happy um, because you do have a lot of control here um, in terms of what happens uh, in Simply E. So in addition to toggling visibility uh, at a lane level on and off, you can also drag and drop any of these. And again, I don't know how much you can see here, um, but if you hover over any of the area for um, fiction, for example, or adventure, I have a little hand uh, icon and you can drag and drop so you can reorder things if you'd like. So if you want comics and graphics, no graphic novels, not that I can speak this morning, um, to be the first thing you see after you click on fiction within the mobile app, you can do that. Um, and again, uh, you can uh, adjust any of these um, subcategories. Um, additionally, there is no limit, as far as I am aware, to the number of sub, 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 sub genres that you create. Um, so uh, the nonfiction art and design is a good example um, in that there's even sub, sub genres within, uh, within that. And then I suspect there's probably even, you can create even uh, sub, 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 sub genre uh, within, uh, within these as well. So to do that, um, that's kind of the next step, um, you can click on any one of these blue uh, create buttons. So if you want to create a sub lane in nonfiction, let me, let me collapse some of these so it's easier to see, you would cl simply click create sub lane and that would then prompt and update the center, um, the center and the right panels for you to start uh, adding this custom lane you can also create a new top level lane. So uh, you can create as, uh, as nested of a lane or as high level of a lane as you'd like. Um, again, it's just the blue button here. If you click on create top lane, top level lane, um, which I'll, I'll do and I just won't save. Uh, again, just like a list, the first step is to uh, add a custom, uh, a custom name here at the top of your screen. Uh, one thing I didn't mention in lists, um, but I, sh I should, I won't do this, is anytime that you add, uh, add uh, information here, always click save um, so that it'll, it'll save your lane, it'll save your lists, it'll save the changes that you're making. Um, as you can see, I haven't clicked save, so any of the things that I'm entering um, when I navigate away will be gone. So I won't, I won't actually uh, muck up New Milford's uh, instance here, but um, when you are actually getting into creating lists and lanes, uh, please click save frequently, frequently and often. Okay, so uh, let's pretend I have a, uh, let's do, let's do a legitimate, let's do Harvest Festival. Let's pretend that's the, the name of this custom lane that I'm creating. Um, the lists that you would create it, would have created in the previous step 
um, and any, any previous list that you've created um, all at all times would be listed in the um, center panel. And I always apologize and I, I, it makes me giggle in demos when I say the lists of lists would be available here in uh, the center screen. The list of all of your lists. Um, I wish there was a, a, a more descriptive term other than list, but we're just gonna go with it. Um, and so you have the ability to assign one list or multiple lists to this harvest festival lane. So for instance, um, let's say in the previous step I had created a list of titles around uh, pumpkin harvesting. So I could add that pumpkin harvesting list uh, to my harvest festival lane. And perhaps I have another list of uh, harvest recipes um, that I want to also uh, include in this lane. I would simply select those lists here. Let's pretend they appear here in the center of the screen. I would select them just uh, as I did before in the list area. They would then appear in the right hand side of your screen in the lists in this lane column. And then again, you would just build your uh, custom lane of materials by adding one or multiple lists of content that you would like to have uh, highlighted in this lane. You would click save. And then depending on if you created a top level lane or a, a sub lane, it would then appear here in uh, the left hand column in the navigation area. And again, you can drag and drop so if it, if it popped for instance, if the, this Harvest Festival uh, sublane appeared above, event, above adventure, um, but you actually wanted it to be uh, between comics and drama, you could just drag and drop it and that's where it would um, appear in, in Simply Eat. So again, um, I guess to, to, to recap, the first step in uh, creating um, custom views uh, of uh, uh, collections or uh, um, uh, subsets of your collection in Simply Ease to create lists, uh, at least one list or multiple lists, and then um, assigning those lists to a lane or a category or something that you want to uh, spotlight in Simply E. And then um, I believe it takes a few hours for those changes to propagate fully in Simply E. There's a few um, scripts that run on our server that will then uh, update Simply E. But then um, really as, as quickly and as simple as that, you'll, you'll have a customized interface um, within, within Simply E. Um, and again, uh, you can turn uh, any of these lanes um, visible or invisible. So in a couple of weeks time, when it's not harvest festival season anymore, you can make this, um, this lane invisible or you can delete it entirely. Uh, it's totally up to you, you have that um, ability. And then the last thing I'll note is that if you um, get a little customization happy and at some point just wanna reset all of your, um, all of the lanes within Simply back to the default kind of out of the box settings, what you see here today, you can click reset all lanes and it will revert back to the original settings, um, which is what you, what you see today, just the default settings out of the box.